In your vote 2023, the winner of Westfield's mayoral primary says he already has plans for Grand Park. News 8's government reporter Garrett Berquist asked Scott Willis how he plans to pay down millions of dollars the city still owes. So far, Scott Willis faces no opposition in November. So it could be up to him whether Grand Park hits a home run or strikes out. In the seven years since it opened, Grand Park has become an institution for people in Westfield, including Scott Willis. These fields are filled, the stands are filled, and you got kids running around in these grass areas, and, and uh, up in that high area up there, we got some picnic benches. But the city still owes $77 million for the project. Willis won Tuesday's Republican primary for mayor of Westfield. So far, he doesn't face any opposition in the November general election. He's already had a front row seat to Grand Park's problems on the city council. The state's going to have to play a role in helping lure in that development um, so that, again, people here at the park will spend their dollars in Westfield. Willis says the city still has about 40 acres around the park to work with. Some landowners have said they want to add championship fields to draw college or semi-pro sports. Willis says he's open to that, but he'd rather see mixed-use development. Something that's got lots of shops and restaurants and things to do for families, and of course hotels where they can uh, sleep here in Westfield of an evening. You know, right now, the four million visitors that come in from outside of central Indiana, um, we rank fourth on the list of where those dollars are being spent. Willis says he's talking to landowners about development options. He hopes to have something for the public to comment on soon. 90% of our revenue in the city comes from residential homes and apartments. And we have to broaden that tax base. And I have several components of, of a economic development strategy that will change that. But certainly Grand Park is one of them. And, and having, again, visitors spending dollars here in Westfield is absolutely paramount to getting our return, taxpayer return, on that investment that we've made here to the park. The Democratic and Libertarian parties have until July 3rd to caucus in someone to oppose Willis. Independent candidates have until June 30th. In Westfield, I'm Garrett Bergquist for Wish TV, wishtv.com, and like us on Facebook. Indianapolis Republican mayoral candidate Jefferson Shreve says crime will be a top issue heading into the November election, general election. Shreve defeated three other candidates to win his party's nomination. This morning on Daybreak, he told our Scott Sander his plan to lower the violent crime rate includes hiring more police officers. It will allow us to pivot from this reactive posture that we have on public safety to proactive. The presence of a few more hundred officers on our force enables them to be forward deployed, visible in the neighborhoods, listening to the residents on their beats. And we did adopt a beat model of policing in Indianapolis a few years ago, listening, getting ahead of some of the violence that pervade parts of our city. Shreve also addressed city streets, saying many of the main roads are in rough shape, but it's the neighborhood streets that are suffering the most and getting the least attention. He says that would change under his administration and that he's already had conversation with state leaders on possible solutions.